Now, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of the Edifier S760s, and this is a home entertainment kit. Leave a link in the description down below where you can get this at the cheapest price or the price that of this video because these are quite expensive. Not too expensive, but you'll understand anyway when you look in the description down below. But yeah, we're gonna do an unboxing of this. This is uh, two massive boxes and I'm actually just lying on the boxes. That's how big it is. Stick around if you wanna find out about these wonderful home entertainment speakers. So we're going to get the specifications right out of the way. So the power output is front left, front right, centre speaker, satellite left, satellite right, RMS, so it's all proper readings, RMS 60 watts times 5, um, the subwoofer is RMS 240 watts, it signal to noise ratio is 85 decibels, a system response is satellite 130 hertz to 20 kilohertz, minus 5 and plus 5 decibels, subwoofer is 42 hertz. So 140 hertz plus six decibels minus six decibels input sensitivity is five in one cd auxiliary satellite 750 millivolts plus 50 millivolts subwoofers 900 millivolts plus 50 millivolts optical coaxial satellite 350 plus 50 millivolts uh, subwoofer uh, subwoofers 400 plus 50 millivolts as well so treble unit is 25mm silicone dome sw tweeter, uh, mid-range units 3.5 inch 92mm um, in, uh, diameter, base unit is 10 inches which is 260mm diameter as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually show you how to, well in case you just bought this and you don't really know what you're doing, um, included in the box gives you 5 speaker cable which is nice sort of quality thin enough to route around the home gives you optical uh, cable as well which is a meter it gives you a big remote control so you can control the whole center and the stand for that's remote control and the, it gives you an ac plug as well to plug into it you get another remote control to can uh, do virtual surround sound the dolby pro logic and do all virtualized uh, sound which is Compared to studio speakers in a studio, it'll be flat sound, and then obviously going then you uh, start ripping the sound together and making it sound really nice. Well, this is kind of like fake sound, but hopefully it's going to be nice. I don't know if this works on Bluetooth yet, so we're going to find out, but I'm going to show you quickly how to put it all together. So what we've got here, it looks quite simple. It doesn't look like there's a plus and minus on the cable, which it normally usually is. So this is for the front left speakers. So I'm just gonna plug these all in and then I'm gonna route them to the actual speaker afterwards. So with getting loads of cable and plus, it hasn't got plus or minus on there and I'm just routing it straight into the ports. It doesn't really matter at the time, but while I'm looking at these cables, one actually looks a lot longer and thicker than the other one not thicker in like thickness just like longer so i'm guessing they might be for the rear speakers 
and the other ones are obviously the satellite speakers which will be at the front or well, front left and front right will be at the front satellites will be at the back yep it does look like that so i'm just gonna gonna move them around quickly so the good thing about this actual subwoofer is that it's an active an active subwoofer so you can turn it on here obviously plug it in and it's got three optical outs so if you, you're doing anything that's digital um, that has optical out you can actually plug this straight in now edify will give you one cable to start you off and that's why the port's um, undone and you've got a coaxial uh, cable there as well and this is where your remote control goes this is obviously where your speakers get connected now these are where your um cd and auxiliary so if you've got satellite or free view or anything that needs to run off an amplifier you plug it into the back here and you can add some more speakers to the front here as well so you can have a line in a 5.1 surround sound but you can have 5.1 surround sound so on these speaker um, ports so it's up to you which ones you want to put it into but obviously i prefer these you can strip back the cables and uh, you get better sound this is where it, dis it distributes heat so when it gets hot it starts to actually um, dissipate from the back there and then it's got some um uh, what you call it subwoofers on the side there so it can actually make it nice solid bass but let's test this out and let's see what it sounds like okay so i'm going to use the three uh well yeah three connectors so one's a 3.5 jack and these are rca cables or phono cables now i'm going to connect my phone to this and then i'm going to connect the phono cables to the back of here and i'm going to put auxiliary and we're gonna like do a sound test obviously through my phone and connect it up like anyone wants to do just have a quick test or you can connect it up by cd or satellite or anything you want to really do pc you can connect it all up by or sound card by pc as well mac wherever you can connect them all up right there so now i've got to uh, connect all these speakers up and uh, let's have a look. So four of them, and then a centre speaker as well. And the subwoofer is going to go underneath the centre speaker. The two fronts are going to go obviously in the front, and the satellites will go behind. Um, but the way this living room is set up, it's going to be a bit of a mission. So I'm going to just do the best I can right now, connect them all up, make sure I've got enough distance. If not, I'll be complaining. obviously set this up and I'm gonna now connect this up to my phone. We've got the center speaker in the front subwoofer here. Obviously the center speaker is not meant to be on the subwoofer but it's just to give you a quick guide. Um, the front, uh, oh, what's this, front right, front left on the front obviously next to the subwoofer but obviously if you're gonna connect it up you'll connect it up and obviously uh, have it on the wall or in a nice bookshelf or something like that and then You've got the satellite rear and left at the back of the actual house as well. So you can get a nice gist of the sound. This is how it's all meant to be. So I'm now going to plug my phone in and I'm going to find all my videos. I'm going to not even doing any audio file stuff. I'm just doing something that this actual sound system to make your actual sound sound nice. So if you're listening to music, you've got 
functions there or functionality to make it sound really nice as well as watching movies and stuff so I'm going to connect this to my phone so I've got, I've got a video from my list and I'm going to test out the sound so you can hear it this is just with a directional microphone and the microphone that's on there is um, a Rode directional mic and obviously I've got the center speaker on the top of the subwoofer, the front rears, I mean the front rears, the front right speaker, left speaker and the satellite speakers all behind the actual sofa as well. So let's hear what it sounds like. And everything is plugged straight into my phone. Our phone's turned up to the maximum and let me just check to make sure all these speakers are actually connected. Right, so, that's so at the moment it's just the front and the subwoofer that's connected this the scent is not even on so this is what it sounds like anyway at full blast Now I'm going to turn the bases up full there, I'm going to turn that down. These are the bass for the, all the speakers but not the subwoofer. And trebles up, I'm going to leave that up. Front left, normal, front right, normal, centre, normal, subwoofer. Look. Now we're packing some bass lines here. As you can hear, the subwoofer on this is ridiculously low toned and you can imagine it for movies. You've got that hall light bass line and it's really nice and clean. Everything just felt, sounds really digitally enhanced. And I like the way it sounds, it really does feel very moving. So if you're watching a movie with a lot of bass and explosions, it's going to sound really sick. But I don't understand why I've only got left and right speaker and the, and the subwoofer on only. So I'm going to go through a few bits and see, in instructions, see if it's just through the phone that it doesn't come up full surround sound or not. Because I've got a centre speaker here, front, well 5.1 surround sound, so it should be all on. So I've just tested it out and obviously 5.1 surround sound won't run through the phone. Don't understand that. But it will run for the, if you've got like a satellite or free view box or anything like that, it'll run through 5.1 surround sound. And then you've got all these nice little functions on there, which is music, movie, uh, emulate, matrix, virtual, and game. And you can really mess around with the functionality right on the actual um, remote control. So you've got CD and options and coaxial, um, auxiliary, and then you've got mute. I like this though. You press power and the volume counts down like really quick and then it comes off. Then you press it again, it says welcome, and then obviously where you're setting up from, and then volume straight at 28. Um, you can go through the t uh, trebles, um, bass volume, straight on the back off the remote, and you can mess around with it like that, and you can get maximum bass. Now on here, which makes a lot of sense, it says left and right speakers is what controls just the bass alone, so everything's very separate. To be honest with you, it is so close to actually being like a proper, proper home professional sound system. Because you got, on um, some cheaper products, you normally would actually get, I'm going to put this on pause for a sec. You would actually would get um, the bass that is con um, connected to the actual subwoofer and the front speakers and the back speakers. And when you turn the bass up, because you want it a little bit more punchy, it would actually distort because it'll have little diameters of speaker um, bass on actual little speaker, bookshelf speakers, then a subwoofer. So what can push the sub more is it wouldn't be very separated. Now, I like how they've done this because the sub's got its own amplifier and its own uh, bass frequency as well as the front speakers right there so it's all very well balanced and so is the treble so I love how the system is set up. Now I ain't going to bother setting it up to completely movie surround sound and everything like that because that will involve me using a computer uh, or a laptop and I need to get like something like Blu-ray going through there and then I'll have to have the speakers screwed onto the wall 
and the subwoofer moved out of the way and this video would go on for ages. The setup just for me, just plugging it all in, took around half hour to 45 minutes and then having a little play around with it to check the functionality and the sound, make sure everything's in the right place. Now doing it all properly, so it's all nice and tidy, cables all out the way and it's all rooted around the back so you can't see the speaker cable, you're looking definitely a half a day easily half a day and then obviously speakers all on the wall, subwoofer in the front TV right next to the subwoofer but above it and it means moving the room around but this is just a test, it's just a test um, the phone connected to it, something that's not very powerful connected straight to this and it absolutely, it really does pump some sound it's really nice clean bass, very warm and fluffy uh, the tweets are really nice and high and crisp uh, the vocals are really nice in there. I just wish it could do a little bit more, but to be honest with you, it's more true to the real sound if it's just been played with um, left and right front speakers and a subwoofer. Sounds really clean, definitely worth uh, the buy, and it looks so solid. The actual look of it and the aesthetics is really nice and clean. The speaker grills can come off, no problem. It's all very high premium quality right there. It doesn't look very cheap and it's straight to the point and Edify give you a lot of stuff for what you're getting. So after playing around with the Edify S760Ds, oh, they are really are something like really ridiculous for the price point and what it is. Obviously a link in the description down below to let you know. Hope you enjoyed the video and obviously I went through the sound and everything. There's not too much that I can actually do to these speakers unless I actually put them on the wall, which I did say is going to take literally ages because I have to move them all around and the whole living room and everything like that so if you're buying these just take it from me it's going to take you a long time to set up but once you set them up it's going to sound really really good there's so much oomph and bass and treble and it just sounds so nice and you can plug in your headphones straight into the remote control and have the sound as well so that's even another plus of a bonus um, you can obviously put your Xbox One, PlayStation, uh, what are we on now? PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4 in there. You can uh, plug in your Freeview box and you can plug in a satellite box. You can plug in loads of anything or your Mac PC as well. As long as it's got a sound card, you can plug that in or you don't need a sound card, you just need an optical out. So on the back of the actual amplifier, which is the subwoofer, it's got uh, three outputs for optical out, so you can have them all plugged in at the same time, as well as um, two or three different devices as well, by phono or ICA cables are like already set up. So that is such a plus point, it's really cool. Um, I just think, when I looked at it, it looks really solid, it looks really nice, it looks really clean. Um, I can't really tell what's, I can't really say what's bad about it, because I'm not too sure what's bad about it. It's not Bluetooth, but obviously, don't know if you could make it into Bluetooth. It's just the fact is when I plugged it into my phone, I did expect a little bit more oomph, but the sound was really clear. There was hardly any distortion at all. The subwoofer was really, really clean. Obviously I was saying about the uh, speakers have got their own bass line that can actually be um, uh, cycled through rather than connecting it to the subwoofer and cycle through at the same time. So what I'm trying to say is when you turn the bass up, it doesn't affect the subwoofer. The subwoofer's got its own channel to actually turn up the bass and the trebles as well with the other speakers as well. So it sounds really, really nice and really clean and it looks really aggressive and it's really, really heavy. When I mean really heavy, this system is really heavy and solid and a solid build. Um, I just like the whole situation of it. There's nothing more I can really say about it other than if you like this video, you must drop, drop a like because if you did like the video, then obviously subscribe for more content. There's obviously going to be a few competitions that I'm going to be doing soon because it's time for competition time. And it would be nice if you leave a comment down below or catch me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, where I'll have all different pictures and stuff. Or head over to the website for more written content, more in-depth and stuff about, um, well, every product that I normally do. Uh, where are we? On Google Plus as well. And obviously YouTube, you found me here. That's where you will find all the videos of me speaking about stuff. I'm thinking about doing some video vlogs, something a bit short, that or a little bit longer where I can talk about or describe something that I've got and I want to share it with you lot. So I'm thinking about that. Drop a link or drop a comment down below if you think that's appropriate and it's going to be good. And yeah, thanks for watching. Like, share, 
and subscribe.